Have you ever wondered if there are countries that might pay you to marry their women? Well, it's not just a fascinating thought, but a reality in some corners of the world. Starting our list at number 10 is Japan. A country known for its cherry blossoms and sushi, Japan is also grappling with a significant issue, a declining population and a low birth rate. As the years pass, the number of people in Japan continues to shrink significantly. The nation's birth rate has dwindled to a record low, a trend that poses serious social and economic risks for the country. In response to this, the Japanese government has come up with a unique solution. They're actively encouraging marriages by offering financial incentives. From subsidizing wedding expenses to providing financial support for raising children, the government is doing everything it can to boost the birth rate. These incentives are not only for Japanese citizens either. Foreigners who marry Japanese women are also eligible for these benefits making it an attractive option for those looking to start a family. So if you have a thing for Japanese culture and women, this might be your chance. At number 9 we have Russia. This vast country is known for its rich heritage, stunning landscapes, and a particular demographic peculiarity. It has a significant gender imbalance. For every 100 women there are only 86 men, this disproportion has compelled the government to take some unique measures. In a fascinating bid to rebalance the scales, the Russian government is offering incentives to foreign men who marry Russian women. They're not just talking about cultural enrichment or the chance to learn Russian, we're talking about financial incentives. Yes, you heard it right. The government is ready to offer substantial financial support and even tax breaks to those who help in its demographic mission. So, if you've been dreaming of a Russian romance, it might just be your lucky day. Not only would you be marrying into a rich culture, but you might also end up with a little extra cash in your pocket. In Russia, love might come with a bonus. Vietnam ranks 8th on our list. This Southeast Asian nation, known for its bustling cities and picturesque landscapes, also offers intriguing economic benefits for foreigners who choose to marry Vietnamese women. The Vietnamese government, in an effort to encourage international marriages, has implemented a series of financial incentives that are quite compelling. For instance, they provide tax deductions and housing subsidies, which can significantly reduce living costs. Moreover, the Vietnamese government also offers employment assistance to ensure a stable income stream for the newlyweds. In terms of numbers, foreign grooms marrying Vietnamese brides can expect a reduction in their tax liabilities by up to 20%, and housing subsidies can reach up to a whopping 50%. Not to mention the employment assistance program has a success rate of 80%. So it's not just about the love for faux and spring rolls, marrying in Vietnam could be more rewarding than you think. Coming in at number 7 is Thailand. A tropical paradise known for its rich culture and friendly locals, Thailand offers more than just picturesque landscapes. The Thai government has been encouraging foreign men to marry Thai women through a series of financial incentives. This policy aims at boosting the country's population and diversifying the gene pool. According to recent data, men who marry Thai women can receive a dowry, a traditional practice in Thailand. This dowry can range anywhere from a few thousand to several million baht, depending on the family's social status and the bride's education. Furthermore, the Thai government offers a yearly stipend for couples who stay married for at least three years. This policy has led to an increase in international marriages in Thailand, with the country witnessing a 20% increase in the past five years. So, for those looking for love in Thailand, there's an added benefit. In Thailand, love and financial benefits go hand in hand. China makes it to the sixth spot on our list. This populous nation has seen a significant gender imbalance over the years, with males outnumbering females. This imbalance has led to a unique circumstance where the Chinese government is incentivizing marriages with Chinese women. To address this imbalance, the government offers a range of benefits for those who choose to marry a Chinese woman. These incentives include housing assistance, tax breaks, and even subsidies in some regions. China is also home to a burgeoning economy, which adds another layer of appeal to this arrangement. Statistically speaking, for every 100 females, there are approximately 115 males. This imbalance has led to the creation of these incentives, aimed at encouraging more marriages and ultimately, a more balanced population. The incentives are a strategic solution to address the demographic challenge while offering substantial benefits to those who choose this path. In China, marriage could offer more than just companionship. India secures the fifth spot on our list. This vibrant and diverse nation is home to a long-standing tradition known as the dowry system. Despite being illegal for decades, it continues in many parts of the country. 
The dowry system is a cultural practice where the bride's family offers gifts, cash, and property to the groom's family as part of the marriage agreement. While this practice has been criticized for its potential to promote greed and social issues, it's interesting to note how it can lead to financial benefits for the groom. Reports suggest that the average dowry in India could range from a few thousand to several million rupees, depending on various factors like social standing and the groom's education. However, it's essential to understand that the dowry system is not without its drawbacks and controversies. It's a topic of intense debate in India, with many advocating for its complete abolition. In India, tradition might come with a financial advantage. At number 4, we have Greece. This Mediterranean gem, known for its rich history and stunning landscapes, has taken an innovative approach to encourage familial growth. The Greek government offers several financial incentives to promote marriage and boost population growth. A significant initiative includes a monthly stipend of nearly 200 euros for each child born to a married couple. This scheme, aimed at combating Greece's declining birth rate, has been active for several years now. Moreover, the government also provides a one-time tax-free grant of 1,000 euros to newlyweds to support their new life together. These incentives, coupled with lower tax rates for married couples, make Greece a country that truly invests in matrimonial bonds. In terms of numbers, these initiatives have led to a notable increase in marriages. In the past five years alone, Greece has seen a 10% increase in marriages. In Greece, marriage could be a path to financial stability. Italy makes it to the top three on our list. Known for its romantic cities and charming countryside, Italy is facing a significant population decline. The Italian government has responded with a unique solution, incentivizing marriage and procreation. The country's population has been steadily decreasing, with a decline of over 100,000 people in the past year, alone. To combat this, the Italian government offers a range of incentives for couples to tie the knot and start a family. These include tax credits, subsidized childcare, and even cash bonuses for each child born. The government has allocated billions of euros to these initiatives, hoping to boost the country's birth rate and stabilize the population. And it's not just for Italian citizens. The incentives are also available to foreign couples who choose to settle in Italy, making the country an attractive option for those looking to start a family. In Italy, love and marriage could come with a financial boost. South Korea comes in second place. Known for its vibrant culture and technological advancements, South Korea is grappling with a significant demographic challenge, a low birth rate. As the birth rate dips to one of the lowest globally, the government is pulling out all the stops to encourage its citizens to marry and start families. In an attempt to reverse the trend, the South Korean government has rolled out numerous incentives. These range from housing benefits to childcare support and even direct cash incentives. For instance, a newlywed couple could receive up to 7 million won, which is roughly $6,000 just for saying I do. The government's efforts seem to be paying off. Recent statistics indicate a slight uptick in the marriage rate giving hope to a nation eager to secure its future. So if you're planning to walk down the aisle, South Korea could be the place to do it. In South Korea tying the knot might come with an unexpected bonus. And topping our list at number 1 is Singapore. Known for its impressively high standard of living, Singapore faces a peculiar challenge, a declining birth rate. To combat this, the government has rolled out a series of considerable financial incentives aimed at encouraging marriage and childbirth. For instance, the Baby Bonus Scheme offers cash gifts and contributions to child development accounts, which can amount to a substantial sum. Moreover, there's the Parenthood Provisional Housing Scheme, which provides affordable interim rental flats for couples awaiting the completion of their first housing. Additionally, couples can also benefit from the Proximity Housing Grant, which encourages married children and their parents to live close to each other for mutual care and support. This is in line with the traditional Asian value of filial piety. With such lucrative incentives, it's no surprise that Singapore takes the lead in this unique category. In Singapore, marriage could be a financially rewarding decision. There you have it, the top 10 countries that pay you to marry their women. From the enchanting east of Japan and China to the vibrant cultures of Greece and Italy, each offers a unique blend of tradition, incentives, and opportunity. Delve deeper into these countries, their customs, and the fascinating stories they hold. It's a big world out there, full of possibilities. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing content like this. Until next time, keep exploring. Let's set off to South Korea. 
a country offering intriguing benefits to those marrying their women. South Korea, the land of morning calm, is renowned for its vibrant culture, technological advancements, and now, its welcoming approach towards foreigners marrying their women. This modern yet traditional country is encouraging international marriages with an array of exciting incentives, making it a compelling destination for loveseekers worldwide. One of the most significant incentives is a robust financial assistance program. South Korea has recognized the challenges that come with moving to a new country, and to help ease this transition, the government is providing financial aid to foreign spouses. This assistance comes in handy for settling down, covering essential expenses, and even starting a small business. Next up, let's talk about housing. Housing is a fundamental need, and South Korea ensures this need is met for its foreign sons and daughters-in-law. The country offers housing subsidies that can be applied towards rent, or even towards purchasing a home. This thoughtful gesture is a testament to South Korea's commitment to make their foreign spouses feel at home. But wait, there's more. South Korea understands that language can be a significant barrier in a new country, and to overcome this, they offer free Korean language courses for foreign spouses. These courses are not only about learning a new language but also about understanding the rich Korean culture. They are designed to help foreign spouses integrate into society, make new friends, and feel more at home in South Korea. South Korea's approach goes beyond just incentives, it's about welcoming foreign spouses into their society, providing them with a sense of belonging, and nurturing a multicultural environment. It's about making South Korea a home, away from home for these individuals. In a world that's increasingly global, it's heartening to see countries like South Korea taking steps to embrace diversity and promote international harmony. These incentives not only make South Korea a desirable destination for marriage but also reflect the country's open and inclusive attitude. Surely South Korea's welcoming approach to foreigners is hard to resist. Next, we travel to the land of the rising sun, where rural romance is rewarded. Japan, a nation known for its bustling metropolises and high-tech industries, has a softer, more tranquil side. The rural areas with their traditional charm and serene landscapes are just as endearing as the neon-lit city streets. But these idyllic regions are facing a dwindling population problem. The government, in an innovative way, has found love to be the solution. In an effort to balance the urban-rural population disparity, the Japanese government is offering incentives to those willing to marry women from these rural areas. This is not just a romantic gesture, but a strategic move to revive these dwindling communities. The incentives are quite appealing. One of them is a government grant that you receive upon marrying a woman from a rural area. This grant, which is a substantial sum, is meant to help you start your new life together. In addition to this there are also subsidies available. These subsidies can be used for various purposes ranging from starting a new business to covering the costs of raising children. It's like a little financial cushion, supporting you, as you embark on this journey of love and commitment. But the perks don't stop there. You can also get free housing. Imagine living in a charming, traditional Japanese house in the countryside, surrounded by picturesque landscapes without worrying about rent or mortgage. It's like a dream come true for those who yearn for a simpler, quieter life. And let's not forget the tax benefits. The government offers significant tax deductions for those who choose to marry and settle in these rural areas. This is yet another financial advantage that makes rural romance an attractive proposition. So, if you're single, adventurous and have a soft spot for the Japanese countryside, this might be the opportunity you've been waiting for. You not only get to experience the charm and tranquility of rural Japan, but you also get to be part of a unique initiative to revive these beautiful communities. Japan's rural romance incentives are not only unique but also a strategic move to balance their population density. Heading to the frosty terrains of Russia, where marriage incentives are part of their population-boosting strategy. Russia, with its rich history, diverse culture, and vast landscapes, is not just a destination for adventurous travelers. It's also a country that's actively encouraging marriages, especially with foreign partners. This initiative is more than just a cultural exchange. It's a strategic move aimed at addressing Russia's declining population issue. So, how does Russia sweeten the deal for those willing to tie the knot with their citizens? Well, for starters, it's all about the money. The Russian government offers cash rewards to couples who decide to get hitched. This sum, which can be quite substantial, is meant to set the newlyweds on a solid financial footing, helping them kickstart their lives together. But it's not just about instant cash. Tax benefits are another part of the package. 
couples can look forward to enjoying a range of tax deductions and exemptions. This can make a significant difference in the couple's overall financial health, freeing up funds for other important aspects of life, such as raising children or investing in their future. And speaking of future, housing is a crucial part of it. In many parts of the world, owning a home can be a distant dream for young couples. However, Russia is working to make this dream a reality for those who marry its citizens. The government offers subsidized housing, making it easier for couples to secure a home. This can be especially beneficial for foreigners who might otherwise find it challenging to navigate the local real estate market. In conclusion, Russia's strategy isn't just about boosting population numbers, it's about creating a supportive environment for couples, an environment where love can bloom amidst the frosty terrains. It's about building stronger families, fostering community ties, and ensuring a brighter future for the country. Clearly, Russia's marriage incentives are an attempt to address their declining population issue. Finally we land in the Lion City Singapore where pro-family incentives are the norm. In this bustling city-state a strong emphasis on family values is not just a cultural nuance, but a state policy. Here, marrying a Singaporean woman comes with a host of benefits designed to foster a robust family culture. One of the most significant incentives is the housing grant scheme. Singapore, known for its high cost of living, provides substantial housing grants to newly married couples to help them get a head start on their journey together. These grants can be used to offset the cost of public housing, making homeownership a more achievable dream for young couples. Now let's talk about tax rebates. In Singapore the government rewards married couples with tax rebates that can amount to a considerable sum over the years. These rebates are structured in such a way that the more children a couple has, the larger the tax rebate a clear indication of Singapore's push for larger families. But it doesn't stop there. Singapore understands the vital role of childcare in a working couple's life. The government offers a range of childcare subsidies to help ease the financial burden on parents. These subsidies are available to all parents of Singaporean children, and they vary based on factors like family income and the type of childcare center. What's more, there are also policies that encourage fathers to play an active role in raising their children. Paternity leave is a statutory benefit in Singapore, allowing fathers to spend quality time with their newborns without the worry of work commitments. In essence, Singapore's pro-family incentives are not just about financial benefits. They are a holistic approach to promoting family life, a testament to the nation's commitment to nurturing a robust family culture. From housing grants to tax rebates and childcare subsidies, these incentives are designed to support families at every stage of their journey. Singapore's pro-family incentives are a testament to their commitment to nurturing a robust family culture. Well, that was quite a journey, wasn't it? We've traversed across continents, uncovering the fascinating incentives some countries offer to those who marry their women. Starting in the vibrant heart of South Korea, we witnessed their love for foreigners, particularly visible in their generous marriage incentives. We then journeyed to the tranquil rural landscapes of Japan, where romance is nurtured by the government's supportive policies. We moved west to the vast expanse of Russia, where a call for a population boost has led to enticing incentives for those willing to tie the knot. Finally, we landed in the bustling city-state of Singapore, a place that champions pro-family incentives like no other. Each country with its own unique approach demonstrates a fascinating blend of culture, policy, and incentives. So there you have it, some countries that offer unique incentives for marrying their women. Fascinating, isn't it?